Hey guys, welcome back, it's Shino Kabe, and today I'm going to play Don't Open Your Eyes. Oh, cool. Hmm. Oh, that's, this kind of reminds me of my old bedroom. I was little, getting late. Eyelids had begun to feel heavy. I go to sleep. I leave aside the book I'd been reading and look out my window. The proceed of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. The same though in Puerto Rico, all oh, the crickets and the and the goddamn little bookies, parking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. Yeah, that too. My intrusive thoughts. But not even the turning gears of my brain are producing much sound. And that is just oddly quiet. Quiet. But what about the crickets? They're screaming. There we go. Too quiet. I feel restless. My sight verse towards the hallway outside my door. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only ten steps long. I'd know since I've made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. I'm sorry, who sleeps with their door open? Do you sleep with your door open? Because hell nah. Well, you know, in the mornings I do. I sleep with my door open because my partner goes to work and leaves the door open sometimes. I'm just too sleepy to give a heck. But at night, hell nah. One, two, three, absently minded, but always. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details. But tonight is different. The hallway looks like it's stretched into nothingness, like a throat guard and to went a beast. Logically thinking cries that it's just my imagination. That there can't be <laughs> wow, I can't there can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just the hallway. But but what? I don't know. I don't want to look at it. So it takes a deep. So I take a deep breath and close my eyes. I can't English today. I could never English. Deep breath. <gasps> In my room. Oh. There's a bed. In my room. There's a. Oh, shoot. I double clicked on it. There's a closet. I'm guessing that's what. I In my room. I never sleep with my, like, closet open either. I hate the closet being open. There's a picture frame on my wall. My room is part of myself. It's a world I know, like the back of my hand. Where someone is blindfolding me and asks me to find my way around. I do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. <laughs> Except me, I always lose stuff. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. My room is a mess. And I trip over a lot of things. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I'm joking. <laughs> I should really try to sleep. My room isn't really that much of a mess. My partner sometimes leaves stuff on the floor, so sometimes I can step on them and it feels uncomfy. Dot, dot, dot. What's up? What the? What's that sound? Are those footsteps? Oh, hey, Ona. No, that's impossible. It must be my imagination. Ah, hey, Ona. I don't like it. I don't like the sound of footsteps. But it's getting closer. Ugh. And closer. I hate this. And closer. Don't you dare try and jump scare me. And closer. Open away. They are gone. I, there's no way someone could be there. Sure. Ah. Ah. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Hello. I just like you already. Ah, it speaks. Open your eyes. Oh, I hate it. It whispers. Oh, oh, it gave me shivers. It whispers in my ear. 
Do I have a mask? It's my own now. I don't open my eyes. Are you breathing? Or is this ominous music? No! Look at me. No, thank you. I do my best to ignore the voice. Because I don't want to. You kiss my ass. Oh, I answer your questions. How it is? No, but I'm not opening my eyes. I don't need to help you with my eyes open. I can feel someone breathing over my ear. Oh, it's cold. I will share a secret with you. Okay, I guess. I have never seen myself before. No, oh, that sucks. I don't know if my face is ugly. You should go check in a mirror then. I don't know the color of my skin. Good. Damn, bro. That's why I need you to open your eyes. Oh, you don't need my eyes for that. So you can tell me how I look. You know, people go are blind, born blind. They don't know what they look, and they have to go off people. What they and they can happily tell you if you ugly as hell. They'll go like, oh, honey, you're so pretty, you're so gorgeous. When you know for a fact you ugly as hell. <laughs> I'm also shy. Oh, then of course I won't look at you. Oh, that sucks. I'm not gonna look at you in the first place. Find me anywhere, and soon you will forget. Ah, oh, dang. Oh, what's the point then? Like a faded dream. Understandable. I don't remember most of my dreams now. That sucks. No, you're not asleep. I am. Listen, with those tiny ears of yours. Oh, you tiny ears, so so you can't. S Listen here, so you can see. Because you can see my own ears. You can see my ears, right? You can see my ears, so why the hell are you saying that you can't see? Exactly. Go look in the mirror. They look so fragile. Again, they look they look so fragile. You can see. Go look at yourself. You don't need me. Ew, gross, don't touch me. Disgusting, do not touch me. No. No. And tear them off. Ayo, no. If I do, will you scream? No, I'll bite you. Will I hear your voice? I'll flip and bite you. Don't test me. It was a joke. Ah. Ha ha, very funny. I'm joking. Sure you are. Don't be scared. I'm scared. I'm actually I'm not scared, I'm uncomfortable. What? Uh, tired as hell. When our cases finally meet, what will you find? I don't wanna see. I don't wanna find out. No, I'm good. Uh, they look lost. Look lost. Yeah, tired. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just tired. Tired sleep. eyes. Yeah, understandable. Those eyes definitely go with you. Then tired. Don't know where you're going. What I'm searching for will slip away. Mm. The thought terrifies me. All right. It terrifies me so much. Dang. So I always keep my eyes peeled. So you can't see because you have your eyes peeled. They're wide open. Even if there's nothing to see. Anyway. All right. I feel like this is a threat. No matter how terrifying the world might be, no matter the countless terrible things I witnessed by mistake in the process, no matter what, I will never blink. Okay. I will forever be confused by the worlds around me. Me too. I will forever be lost. Hmm. What is that something that I'm searching for? Since my wandering began, I can no longer recall the feelings that drove me to it. You have me to what? It? Is it something I can hold? Is it a being of flesh and bones? Is it nearby? I don't know. Is it you? 
I hope not. Hey, have you ever looked so fervently for something? Definitely my phone. I always lose it. I put it down for a minute to go pick, grab something or look for, like, get a drink. And then I go like, where the hell did I put my phone at? <laughs> lose it every day. Did you end up losing yourself in the process? Mm, no, because I can use my Echo to find my phone. But I have lost my earbuds a couple of times. Drove me kind of crazy. Because I knew where they are last, but I couldn't find them. These eyes. Are these my eyes? Sure. Good answer. Yet there is only one way to know the truth. Open your eyes. No. Why you say it with such a shaky way? No, <laughs> I just know. I uh, know. So you won't look at me. No. Even though your eyes are so pretty. Also, you've seen my eyes, so so what's the point? I can't see them, but I can imagine them behind their veil of flesh. Ew, I don't like thinking of it like that way. But my eyes are as brown as anyone else's eyes. Like God, uh, like every normal. I'm sorry, not everyone, everyone has to, some people can have different eyes, beautiful green eyes. I had a friend with beautiful green eyes, and one with the beautiful, uh, like, grayish eyes. They're called blue, but they're, that's not blue, gray, that's beautiful green. But no, <laughs> no. My eyes are as brown as most people. Brown like pearls, and Thanks. shiny like jewels. That's a lie. So, so pretty. I'm dead inside. Ew! Back up! It's fine. You disgusting. We still have time. A time for what? The night is still and silent. Yeah, I hate it. I only hear your voice in some ominous music. Stop breathing on me. Get back. You nasty. You smell like shrimp, and I'm allergic to it, so I would really like it if you back the hell up. Good. Yeah, yeah, they are. Do you know what a door is? Yeah, I would love to slam one in your face right now. Of course you know. You have one right there at the verge of your little world. Yeah. A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. Or the good in, like, you never know. Keeping your family safe bad and stuff. Can be anything. A bad person. A bad smell. No, the bad smell somehow slips in. Uh. I can't open doors. I find them tricky. So you have now learned, guys and gals. Close your doors. Don't leave them open unless you want this freak of nature to come into your room. Should I push or pull? You should do none. And you should stay out. Should I turn the knob left or right? I don't know. It's always going to be locked. From now on, my door is locked 24-7. Should I I'm sorry, what? Should I no. Keep away at it, hoping it will fall apart? Yeah, my doorknobs are heavy duty, so I wish you luck on that. What happens when it opens? Yeah, you get, uh, your brain's blown out. Do I close it behind me? Do I keep it open? But then keep it open so I can book it the other way once your brain is there better on the floor. Did you just forget how close to open the door again? And what happens if the wind pushes it close? What then? Well, my windows are always closed because I'm not letting someone break so in. So many options. So many things that could go wrong. Actually, you know what? This first, you don't. Could this be my intrusive thoughts? This could be my intrusive thoughts. Well, not in truth of thoughts, just about the thoughts that, like, give you anxiety, like, it's always, always overthinking things. I think it's and that. You stand in front of a closed door. It paralyzes me. Yeah, you're my paralysis I demon. I stare at it for a long time and think of my excuses, because that's all they are. What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist to keep me out. Yeah, and I should have closed mine. 
No. See, this is why you keep your doors and clo windows closed 24-7. I'm sorry, not 24-7, but at least before you go to bed, lock them. Make sure every window is closed and every door is locked. And the windows are locked. I forgot windows can lock too. Yeah or nah? You just sound... You sound just like one of those creeps that be walking around my neighborhood checking doors to see if they can break in. Yeah, you're just some kind of thief, a creep, that you, you should... You, just leave. But as long as there's a place where I can fit, then I can go in anywhere. And you kind of remind me of a cat now, always trying to fit into places. And every night, I hop across the shadows of the streets. I'm careful, so as to not be caught by the light. Wow, so all I gotta do is grab a flashlight, flash in the face. My eternal search. I pick a place where to rest. I slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable. Oh, you've alerted me, and we're about to have some problems. Surely it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. Yeah. Inside homes? Hell no, nah, stay outside. I feel at home there. Good for you, you should find a good old abandoned hospital. Those are good too. But sometimes, just sometimes, an urge swells inside of me. The urge. Hey, this is this is my mistake. I'm sorry. I forgot to close my door, and I really don't want to see you. So it'd be great if you left. Go oh, bother a I don't know a blind person. <laughs> for an entryway covered in darkness, and for someone to be at the other end, awake. Nah. Uh, as if expecting me. I never expected you, and I really, really would like it if you leave my home. But you won't look at me. Yeah. I did not have my door for open for visitors. My front door was very much closed and locked, at least with two locks on them. So I would really request for you to leave the hell out of my room. It's it's like, it's summertime still, so it's pretty hot. Sometimes I want to keep my door open because it's hella, hella hot. And I just a little, want a little bit more fresh air from the outside. Not the outside world, I mean like in the living room sometimes, a little bit of the... Uh, Air condition sweeps into my room. It's like, oh, refreshing. Ah, what do you expect? Why is that? Because I'm in my own home. I can keep my bedroom door open if I want to. Are you afraid? No, I'm annoyed. Get the hell out. Do I scare you? No, you make me uncomfortable. No, that can't be it. We have been chatting for so long. You haven't chased me. Yeah, but just because I haven't chased you out and the reason I'm talking to you is because I'm just when I would like you to leave. That means you welcome me. Hell no, that is not it. That is not it. Just because someone talks to you does not mean they like you. It's like someone who works at Starbucks and gets yelled by a Karen saying that you didn't use soy milk. They yell at you or you didn't put enough whipped cream on their drink. Just because I'm talking to you doesn't mean I like you. I swear to God. I swear to God. And grasp it. I will break your hand. I'm sure your hands are warm. And you write about that. My hands are always warm. So very warm. Kind of sweaty too. Because people are always warm. Uh, but as uh, I'm cold as a snake. How do my hands look? I don't know what your hands look, but they probably look crusty as hell. Uh, you had nasty hands off me. Answer me. Um. They look incomplete. They look incomplete. Yes. That may be so. Ah! said they look tired ah amidst my travels i have lost more than i can imagine i have left people behind people who are my chat companions just like you are now so it's no wonder that by leaving them behind i will leave parts of me as well oh this 
this girl's like, you let go of your friend's hand, and all of a sudden, whoopsie daisy, looks like I lost my pinky! <laughs> It sounds like you have separation anxiety a little bit, just a smidgen. It sounds like an excuse. That's because it is. Because okay. I am careless and overly curious. Understandable, I'm kind of that way too. I can't tell but wonder how everything feels to the touch. Well, I mean, too, though, if I see something fluffy, I kind of want to put my hands on it, even though it could probably be bad for me. Like COVID was hard. Tree. Those are smooth and cold and kind of uncomfy. Sometimes I find something else. But sometimes I just find because they're kind of smooth. Like a building engulfed in a raging fire. I'm sorry, what? I think of the screams in the distance. Or the suffering and death and charred skin. Okay, yes, I would like you to leave my house now. I wonder, how does that feel? Uh, I don't know, maybe I can push you in there and go feel for yourself? Damn. I'm sorry, to keep them there, were you holding them from leaving the building? For long enough that the uncomfortable feeling dissipates. Oh uh, yeah, you're definitely missing some body parts then. And the smell of charred skin starts protruding from my own. And when I take them out, the feeling persists. Yeah, it does, it They're lingers. Horrible, but intoxicating feeling. I'm sorry, what? Then you're not gonna find it in my home. Everything's nice and soft and squishy. I request you go look for a fireplace, a fire, you know, somewhere with a fireplace. My house doesn't have a fireplace. You can go look for one with a fireplace. Uh, you can go to a fire station and set yourself on fire that way. The edge of a knife sometimes provides it. I can stab you right now if you like you. Like, I'll stab you multiple times, man. Like, <laughs> Uh, I only have a ferret. If I had a big dog, though, I'll let him go at you. Most times, however, it's by mere accident. Uh, paper cut, understandable. And I would place my fingers over a benign surface, only to discover it's covered in spikes. Oh, uh, look, those pigeon, pigeon, uh, those bird stoppers. Those little spikes. I leave bird my spikes. Hands there as I traverse along it, leaving parts of my body as a ferret. Oh yeah, you're de then yeah, your body com definitely incomplete. In sense, it's not so different from what I was saying before. The fire and the blades are friends. They have granted me times of great fun. Ugh. So, it's only polite to leave something of yours as a sign of thanks. No. And stop doing it! Stop doing it then! Why you? <laughs> why you doing? Why you? Why you doing it then, Jeebus? I'd rather they weren't. Hey, have you ever placed yourself in arms way? Um, yes, I have. To keep a friend safe. Only to feel the satisfaction you've realized is not yours. What? What? Wait. Yes? A good answer. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. Open your eyes. No, like I told you before, no. Uh, no. So you won't look at me. Exactly. Even though my hands could be the same as yours. Oh, I know my hands are not as crippled as yours. That's a fact. Think about it. I have, like, probably arthritis. In my hands, but <laughs> they don't look like that. Maybe you and I are similar. Oh hell no, we not. No, I know we are. No, we're not, man. I don't break into people's houses and start whispering into their ears things that they don't want to know. I can feel it in my skin. Good for you. I can feel it in everywhere where I don't want it to be. I feel that you should leave the hell out of my goddamn house right now.
Or what? Can you hear it? My heart? Also, you feel happy? It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. Good for you. I wander the world, wanting to be seen. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look, but it's not like anyone will do. Well, you walking after people into their houses while they're trying to sleep and whispering into their ear really doesn't want make them want to look at you. If it did. Yeah. Since I could show myself to everyone at once, every living person in this land. Yeah, it sounds kind of like you're planning something. And ask them all the same question. Someone will answer. There's no doubt about it. But it might not be the answer I wish for. Since I don't want to be judged. To be perceived as something I'm not. It scares me. Yeah. That is why. When someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. Okay, same though. I feel anxious around people too. I hide, fading into the dark. Understand? Every gosh darn introvert over here, like, yeah, I'd do the same. I'd do the same. Might be different. Give me a second here. <laughs> if it's you, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. That way you can help me be fulfilled. Uh, just thinking about it, it makes me feel... Something I cannot Happiness? describe it. Happiness. I am not good with words. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. They were not good at it either. Uh. Well, let me tell you right now, I just like that person with every fiber of my being now. It is weird to remember. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. And I am not. Sure. I don't care much for my appearance. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. So you're telling me that you want to be seen? And now you're telling me you don't want to be seen? What do you want? If you don't want to be seen, then get the hell out of my house. Da -ding. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? I don't know, depression. Maybe it's only because I can. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you should do it outside where it's not inside my house when you decide to break in. Because everyone gets to be recognized. Understandable. As a small creator, I want to be seen by people. I want to make people happy. But you know, I'm not always gonna be seen by a lot of people. Cause for now, I'm just a little PNG tuber. Doesn't look very interesting. And all PNG tubers eventually become like actual full models. But my computer is absolute garbage, and it is not capable of doing such things. And I need to do a extremely hard editing to actually get my model working because I have to go from downloading it from my I, from my phone to downloading it to the computer and it takes either an hour or two for that to happen it's pain but I will soon once you open your eyes I'm now opening my eyes sir there it is again just is that Ew. And you finally take those bed sheets off your body. Uh, whoa, you're making me uncomfortable now. And you inspect every crevice of mine. Ah, hell no! Nah. And you finally, finally, finally open those tight lips of yours. Yeah. Ah, ah. No! Uh-uh. No. No, I, 
I, I would crest you leave the hell out of my house right now. Sir, that you and me are not nothing. We are nothing. Get out of my house right now. To let me hear what I am. You look like a piece of garbage. Be gone. To maybe even give me a name. Your name is the uh, what every person, any person that I do not like. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have one friend that's named this. This is his actual name that he wants to be called. But every time I'm getting missed by some kind of ghost or demon, I always say like, God dang it, Kevin. Your name is Kevin, okay? Your name is Kevin because I do not like you. Now get the hell out. It makes me feel, but I don't know what. Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. No. Hey, what does my expression look like when that fell of uncertainty finally disappears? to each other answer me uh. Uh, an emotional stare a surprise grimace a cheerful smile uh, a surprise grimace a surprised grimace oh hell no nah. Oh, there you go. That, that's when you tell me that you basically oof him. Yeah, yeah, I'm alive him. Mm -hmm. At others, they scream and run and exhaust themselves to the point they can't think. Oh, I can still think my anxiety filled mind would continue to make me run. Others, they don't feel much at all. Ah, oh, because they're tired of this conversation just like Is I am. It? me <laughs> that you want a conversation you may want to be looked at but if they decide to stay and try to talk to you you get mad and I, I'm guessing you uh, unalive them that's my guess like oh. uh. it's like they are not seeing me they do not give a damn just like me but actually you know what once if I do decide to try and look what's gonna happen is me grabbing my blanket throwing it on top of you running over you and getting the hell out of my house I'm sorry, what? The reaction is what I want. Oh, yeah. It's a sign that I am there. Well, do you, what do you want me to do? Go like, oh my god! Oh, jeebus, bro! Oh, my god! Yeah, yeah you look messed up as hell. Holy cow, my guy. Yeah, can you leave out of my house now? That'd be great. That my existence means something to them. That's yeah. Uh, you don't like me because I would have slapped the hell out of you the instant I saw you and I would have grabbed the blanket and it proceeded to choke you out. <laughs> you did not scream. Yet you did not run either. You were surprised and averted your eyes. But instead you stayed. Listening. Acknowledging. You were the first to do this for me. You were new and unexpected. Yet. How odd. Is this really? Oh, you don't understand when kind of like deer in headlights were surprised as hell, but we stay still because we're in such shock. You say it is, so it must be true. But what I'm feeling right now, what I'm experiencing, it's not the same as those who've seen me. As if their surprise was something different from mine. Hey, have you ever acted surprised? Not because you are, but because you believe. How you must feel. Yes, during Christmas. <laughs> oh, I remember as a kid, anytime one of your family members as a child decides to give you, I don't know, socks for Christmas, 
or PJs, and you gotta go, oh wow, me, <laughs> like that kid, an avocado. Thanks. <laughs> yes. This expression is this my expression? I guess. Yeah, you're gonna bring confusion to everyone because you have some nice eyes from what I'm imagining, but your hands and your mouth are a whole different thing. I consider these my most treasured features. Good for you. You have helped me picture them all. No one has done this for me. I feel a connection with you. Oh, I don't want to feel connected to you at all in any way, shape, or form. I do not want to feel connected to you. No. So please, I beg of you, open your eyes. I feel slight pity for you. I truly do feel slight pity for you. But you know what else I can do? I could do like a blind person and proceed to lightly touch your face and see if I feel what I feel and go like, yeah, that that's you. That's how exactly how I imagined it. Yeah, let me... I don't know if y'all can hear it, but I'm rubbing my hands together, rubbing against my desk. Yeah, that... Yeah, yeah, that's... That feels like you. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that feels just like you. Anyways, yeah, you should leave. Uh, open my eyes. Ew, no. I understand. I see, I understand. I'm guessing that's what he said. I accidentally clicked it fast. It's fine. I'm glad I helped somehow. No one has done that for me before, so I have no right to ask for anything else. No, that is a lie. Ah, you ungrateful son of a biscuit! Yeah, get out of my house. Since I stepped into this room, you have refused to engage with me. I engaged with you. I've spoken to you a few times. I, li I listen. I'm a good friend. I'm the kind of friend who just... Oh, actually, no. I've been talking smack this whole time. <laughs> but hey, I could be that good friend, that sister, and just listens to you and nods my head. Okay, yeah. Yeah, understandable. And then, pre then when you let me talk, I talk. But right now, you're being ungrateful. <laughs> I have engaged. I said yes, no, yes, no, good. You have these kind of hands, you have these kind of eyes, you have this kind of mouth, you have this expression. You being ungrateful right now? Not even once, not even once, not even once, not even once. Not that even is a once. lie. Get away from my ear. Not even once. Did you open your eyes? Why the hell do I have to open my eyes? Not even once. Did you look at my face? You stayed there, acting as if you were. Sleep. I've been answering him, haven't I? Feigning ignorance and not moving an inch. Uh huh. At times, making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. Go, then you must be tripping balls because I've been answering. You haven't opened your mouth, but you didn't need to. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can. Wait, huh? Wait. That don't make sense. I've been speaking to you because I told you what your hands look like, what your eyes look like, and what your mouth looks like. So you lying. And I can't see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. That's why I know that I wasn't wrong. You are like me. Uh-uh, I ain't like you. I do not look like that. We are the same. No. Nope. You too. Look for what's not there. You kind of got me there, though. <laughs> you kind of got me there. I'm looking for something. Yes, I am. I am looking to bring joy to people, but it's hard. I, I, I try to bring entertainment, and it's hard. And sometimes it does not work out. You two, reach out for what might hurt you. 
don't know. Well, yeah, I can get emotionally destroyed sometimes. Like, I, I put a lot of work in a video, and then it gets absolutely, what, one or two views, and it's like, ah. <laughs> Crippling pain. You two are a liar. That part, uh, eh. Everyone's a liar, though. We all lie at least once in our lives. The type that shows one thing and feels another. I'm pretty sure everyone's done that too. But you made a mistake. I know you're lying. Because every answer you've given me so far has been wrong. I am not what you said I am. Oh, then that sucks. These eyes, these hands, this expression. They aren't mine. Oh, then why that if you know this, then why the hell are you asking me how you look if you already know what you look like? You, you're starting to take me off, my guy. Maybe they are yours. No, hell no, I do not look like that. I do not care. Not anymore. Open your eyes. I said, I know. Oh. I don't want to judge you either. I didn't want to be perceived for something I'm not. And that's all you did. Well, you've been asking me. How do I look? And I guessed. I guessed. And I guessed. So now, you will open your eyes and see me for what I truly am. You said so. Remember? Oh, uh, hell no, I did not say anything. You tripping balls. I know for a fact my memory can be kind of buzzy sometimes, but I know for a I never said I was gonna look at you. And in this room, you know how everything looks. Yeah. It was those words that brought me here. The, okay, that's another thing. Do not, ma don't think that you know your room. Because I know for a fact, I know for a fact that I do not always know what my room looks like. I can remember where my bed, window, and closet, and bedroom door are, but that's about it. Everything else can be a mess. And I do not realize it until I step in it. So you have to. You have to do right by that which you claimed. I <laughs> know. No. Your eyes. No. Right here. Dot dot dot. No. Your eyes. No. Not doing it. Open your eyes. Do I open my eyes? No. Hey, yo, back up. Don't open your eyes. I will. Open your eyes, sir. Don't you understand that I don't want to do that? Back up. Ah! This guy is unbearable. Ah! 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 Did I die? Did my head just get crushed? Thicker. And I won't look. What I see is uh... You got star eyes like other oh, anime girl. You're a blob. You're a white blob with uh star eyes. I close my eyes. Ah, don't touch me. Ah! It broke my neck! Ah! Open them now. It broke my spine! My pelvis! Open, open, open. open. Bro, my eye got my eyeballs are gone. You died. I'm pretty sure you just yanked them out. Ah! Open. My guy, every bone in my body. Are you jumping on my bed or something? Oh uh, no, I'm pretty sure you made me past tense. Talk anymore, right? You can't think anymore. Then, this is farewell. Oh yeah, you just had to kill me by accident and go away. Thank you for trying, friend. I did not even try. I did not even want to try. Even though you were a liar, I leave this piece of myself here with you. 
Oh, then, yeah, your hands were definitely messed up. Oh, who knows? Maybe he left his flipping. I don't know. Handprints on me. Just look for the right person. Someone who can tell me how I look. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that when they do. Why do I look like I've been uh, hit by a semi truck? Uh, because you kind of crushed me. Bruh. Bruh. There's something in my hand. What they left behind. What is it? It feels important. Are you gonna open your eyes? This is a trap. I can no longer open my eyes. Oh, what? <laughs> it ends like that. I'm kind of curious on what he looks like, but you know what? I'm just gonna leave it like that. If y'all wanna know what, how, what he looked like, but go play the game, don't open your eyes on Itch.io. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye! <laughs>